What's up guys, welcome back to more Atlas news. This week we've got Q&A with the devs, we've got a new community member for the dev team, we've got the seahorse to go alongside the dolphin from the last update. It's looking good. If you want to skip to the different chapters, there will be chapter links in the description below and in the pinned comment of the comment section where you can jump from the news, the teaser, or the Q&A, uh, it's up to you, but let's get into it. Ahoy Pathfinders, this week we have another Q&A with the devs for you all f as we wait for next week's patch. Moving forward, Pathfinders can expect a patch every other week bearing any unexpected circumstances or changes in tide. Some of you on our Discord may have noticed a new hand on deck. Let's get an official introduction to our new community manager. Hey y'all, I'm Conch. I think that's right. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I'll be handling most of the dialogue here in the Discord going forward and I'm looking forward to hearing from you all. I'll say now I cannot make promises on where our journey may take us, but I will do my best to relay your concerns and make our voyage as enjoyable as possible. You'll shortly see that my sarcasm is my sword and will be wielded often for the forces of good-natured humour. Trolls beware. <laughs> Other than that, I'm a big esports fan. Cough, TSM, cough, okay. Obviously likes TSM, fair enough. So if it's been streamed, I've probably watched some of it. Still waiting for Competitive Atlas to take off, fingers crossed. So if you find yourself in need, I'll be here. Here's to smooth sailing head. Cheers. Uh, I will just quickly chuck in there with the mention of, um, you know, liking competitive esports and things like that. I am almost certain there will be comments and messages mentioning the fact that um, you know, a lot of people think some of the dev team, or most dev team, don't even play Atlas. It would be interesting to know what Conch plays. What their thoughts on Atlas is at this point. You know, it's nice to know they like esports, but like I said, I think a lot of people are going to be asking whether they've got any interest in the game, rather than any other games. Uh, so yeah, I'll just chuck that in there. <laughs> it's a new year and we know some curious pathfinders may be wondering how Atlas is going to continue to shape out from here. We are still very much continuing development across all the features and mechanics we have introduced so far. The trading system and the pieces dependent on it are still in the early stages and there are still a line of new and unique ships to come. The claiming system rework is still in the testing stages as well. As we work on refining these systems we have put in place, we are also getting closer to defining a direction that we'd like to take Atlas. We're still planning it out and once we have a more cohesive structure in place, we'll roll out more information to the community. Teaser. So here we go, we've got the seahorse. They do mention in this post, I know this is going to be a thing people are going to say, oh, we, you know, we want the game stabilised, we want more content, we don't want random creatures. Um, but they do say in this post, we'll get to it in a second, that you know they are working, they're two teams working simultaneously side by side. Um, so one doesn't affect the other. So that's why this kind of stuff is ongoing. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, could be fun. The only problem is, you know, like how far can you swim without oxygen? <laughs> Are we going to get oxygen tanks? Are we going to, like, is, I don't know, is something going to help survive underwater? Because, uh, you know, you can't hold your oxygen forever. The like underwater skills in the survival tree will help a fair amount, but um, I don't know how much. Be interesting to see how this works out. But nevertheless, it's pretty cool. Uh, what's this? We're not seahorsing around. Okay. <laughs> the tameable dolphins were only the first of the new underwater tames, which are going to be part of a taming breeding rework. Not to fear, this isn't taken away from our development time in other areas. It is a smaller project that we are doing on the side to add a bit more fun and flavour out in the waters. We would also like to stress that we are not neglecting optimization and bug fixes in favour of new content. We hear your concerns and understand that there is a lot we need to continue to fix and improve. The team of engineers who work on optimization and fixes are different from the team of designers that implement new content. We are fixing elements of the game while developing new content in tandem. Oftentimes, optimization bug fixes are a multifaceted issue and require more time and resources to address. Other times, these coding updates may be an under the hood improvement. 
We're taking things step by step and it may take multiple patches for certain fixes and even new content to reach the stage we want it. We thank you for your support and patience. Yeah, this is something I've been saying a lot to people and um, you know, I don't think a lot of people take into consideration or listen to these points. But it's true, like the things we're seeing are building blocks. Everything's going to be step by step. And some things they make as far as optimization, like some changes they make to optimization and stability, we're not going to directly notice. It's going to be like back end stuff that, you know, the dev team that can see analytics of the servers and things can see that won't make much difference to us. But they need to address, you know, things like that before they can um, improve, like, things in the face of the game, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to take patches, it's going to take months before we start seeing certain changes. And the same goes for, you know, the, the content we're seeing with the new ships, the modular building, the automated buildings, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I just thought I'd chuck that in there. Um, again, I'm sure people are going to completely gloss over this and they're going to take absolutely no... Um, <laughs> they're going to pay no attention to this. But... Um, yeah, I mean, that's down to them if they want to be ignorant and, uh, you know, not taking the full picture, then that's up to them. But that is, like, the gist of it. You know, things are going to take time. We've just got to wait for it to roll out before some things are going to make sense. Q&A. What is the next step in the new ship Lego project? They call it the Lego project. Okay, I call it modular ship building, but um, okay. For now, we will continue to make unique ships built with a growing selection of unique modules. Further down the road, we are looking into allowing players to buy craft their own modules and build their own ships. Uh, just quickly, as far as we know, the new modular ship building system will be side by side with the ship building system we all know and most of us love. Um, so that won't be going anywhere and this is the new system they're going to roll out alongside it. Um, I wish they kind of mentioned that there because some people are going to take this as, you know, the other current shipbuilding system is going to be completely gone. Um, and if it is going to be completely gone, I wish they'd just come out and say it. But as far as I know, this is going to be side by side with the current shipbuilding system that we've used for the last couple of years. Will the team be addressing or nerfing large wall spamming? So we might actually be able to destroy a 50 layer wall of them or an entire island spammed with it. Yes, this is on the list. <laughs> they, they should just take them out of the game to be honest, I think. They're, they're kind of strange anyway. Um, they should just make like the ability to make four... You know like on um, Arc S Plus if you've ever used that modern arc. You can build like large walls and they're like, you know, eight walls high. And so rather than crafting just eight single walls, you craft eight walls in one go and it's just like one block of walls. Uh, maybe they should do something like that. Um, I think that would be better, personally. But um, yeah, we'll have to see what they do with it. How is the progress on the claim system? Are you able to reveal more details on it now? While the focus of the game is indeed to get more focus on the sea, we can't ignore the land play. The new claiming system is an attempt to balance land play and make it more fun in general. The team has found Band-Aid on top of Band-Aid is in this department and we want to remove those layers and get to a cleaner code base and more fun gameplay. So what they're saying there is, you know, um, I don't know how many people are aware of this, but most of the dev team we currently have are a new dev team and they are going over, you know, issues that the last dev team, like they say in this post, have just put band-aids on essentially. And they're finding more and more issues, which is something they've mentioned before when they, they come across problems at the moment, they go in to fix it and they just keep finding more and more problems and it's like opening a can of worms. So yeah, that's what that is referring to, I would imagine. And um, it makes sense. And again, like they said earlier in this post, you know, things are going to, it's going to take, you know, a few patches, it's going to take months um, to go by before we start seeing improvements in certain places. Where in development is Mech Monkey? I'll never tell. Oh, come on, dude. We want the Mech Monkey. Give us Mech Monkey. Any plans for new servers modes? Yes, we have lots of things planned. We have hit upon a theme for the game that we really like and lots of other wonderful things that are really going to make this game pop in 2021. To answer your question a bit more, I can tell you that we're beginning designs for small temporary worlds 
that you get to via maelstroms that appear on the map. They will only be available for a bit of time and will typically have something cool on them. This is really early but lots more really cool stuff is in the works. So that sounds interesting, sounds like we're going to be getting temporary instances which is really cool and if they are going along them lines I would like to see them turn the um, fountain of youth into an instance, that would be cool, power stone caves into an instance. I think that would be awesome if you have to go in very much like a MMORPG instance where you're going to require certain um, players with certain roles to fulfill to get through the instance. I know that's really in depth and it's going to be a lot of work but I think that'd be kind of cool. Again that's not something they've mentioned, that's just an idea that I like. Um, would love to know your thoughts on it but the maelstroms definitely do sound like some form of an instance in one form or another. The theme they mentioned is what they earlier referred to in another post as Stormpunk, I do believe. Um, so yeah, that'll be interesting. Any word on improving armoured docks, like maybe enclosing them so NPCs are safe? Also, having repairs inside armoured docks would be helpful. Yes, this was always the plan, we just need a little more time to get there. Again, when you see things like armoured docks, I can't stress this enough guys. When you see the armoured docks, when you see a farmhouse, warehouses, markets, etc, anything like that. These are all first iterations. These are the first building blocks of that particular um, feature of the game. So the armoured docks that we've got at the moment are the first attempt at that. They're the first version. So things are going to change. They're going to play with them and test them and change them as we go. And um, yeah, again, building blocks. These are the first building blocks, guys. Just keep that in mind. Can you tell us more about the direction Tame's breeding is headed? For now, we are looking at cleaning up the Tame system and adding more Tames to the water. Beyond that, it's fuzzy. The more work we put into Thames and the more people want to stay on land. But the Thames system is only a fraction of what is possible. And who are we to stop that? I wish I could tell you more, but we really need more time to come up with something fun, deep and different. So as I understand it, they have got someone working on a new Thames system right now. Um, someone's taken it under their wing. It's going to be a brand new Thames system as far as we can tell. And um, yeah, that was sort of the last thing mentioned about it. So again, that's basically what's being said here. Although it sounds like they're not really sure what they want to do. So that would be good to see another post with some more clarity on the taming system. It is a big question uh, that people have at the moment. When will there be a sale revert, rebalance and perhaps a buff to weight sales to make them usable? A major overhaul of the sales system is on the books. It's another example of the layering of issues that we are now stripping off to get to the fun of the game. No word yet on the timing. In the Steam page, responses from the devs and older interviews seem to emphasise a focus on player immersion and faction building with a pirate colonial aesthetic. The actual design seems to be more of a min-max grind fest and with theory crafting elements. What's the actual intended experience for the game? I hear you, let me clear things up if possible. Atlas isn't where we want it, the game has a long history already and I don't want to spend time there. Just know that where we are today is not where we want to be. Vision is about destination. When we talk about vision, we're talking about where we want to be, not where we are today. Finally, remember that the game's development is a cooperative experience. We put a bit of something out and then see how you like it and then we adjust to that. All that said, this is where we are today. We have hit on a theme for the world that is going to give it more cohesion, remove some of the more annoying limitations of the game and open it to more possibility, if allowed. We'll be introducing this theme a bit at a time, the way a new idea would be introduced IRL, and then grow it from there. For a period of time last year, we were guided to add a new strategic layer to the game to give companies new tracks to explore. The aesthetic and realism boundaries of this have expanded a bit and we're very excited for what's being planned for 2021. Right, let me just go straight back to this point here, guys. Remember that the game's development is a cooperative experience. We put a bit of something out and then see how you like it and then we adjust that. I don't agree with that. I've said before that... You know, it's dangerous for a dev team to like sort of go off of their plan for their game and to start taking in too much consideration for what 
you know the games players are saying unless it's like overwhelming but the problem with something like atlas is it is so split the pvp and the pv community is very split everyone thinks the massive community is the pvp community that is not true in actual fact i would say they're probably about even it's probably like 50 50 and actually possibly there's probably a bigger pve community than pvp now having said that i'm not saying you should write one off over the other but what i am saying is you're going to get very different opinions and you're going to have no way to actually see the true opinion of everybody if you go on the atlas discord you will see the absolute toxic spew from the community on there same if you go on the reddit page and things like that it's, you know, you're not going to get a genuine answer from anyone. It's all just going to be toxic nonsense. If they genuinely want a cooperative development experience, they need to come up with some form of actual way to do it properly. Um, a few of my friends and uh, my brother used to play RuneScape. I, I'm guessing a lot of you might have played it as well. Uh, that game's still going strong, and the way they develop that game, with some things at least, is they have in-game like ballot boxes, and every now and then there are votes on certain features with the game to see whether the player base actually agree or disagree with something, whether they like an idea or don't like an idea, that kind of thing. And um, I believe you can go and vote at these ballot boxes when they do these like polls, and then the dev team take that into consideration when rolling things out or working on stuff. That's a great idea for a genuine cooperative experience. So if the Atlas dev team want a cooperative experience, if they've lost their true vision of this game, which is what it sounds like with this post, it sounds like they have no idea what they want to do, they have no idea what is going to work, what isn't going to work. You know, they're kind of just winging it. They've got ideas, obviously, they're working on, but for the actual overall like theme of the game and direction of the game, it does sound like they're a little bit lost. Now, if that's not the case, they should not have put this answer out like they did, because that's what it seems like to me. So yeah, if they want a genuine cooperative experience, they need to come up with a way to get an honest, like, genuine view um, of the player base because if they're just going to rely on discord i mean we are going to see the most meme like game ever made <laughs> i mean it's going to be ridiculous <laughs> so i mean it'll be funny but the game will be in an absolute ruin so i don't know what what to make of this guys i'd love to know your thoughts down below but um yeah that screams to me that they're lost at sea and they don't know what they want to do and again, if they want to go to a co cooperative experience, then that's fine. I mean, I personally think game development's an art, and you know, if this was somebody's vision, then they should have stuck with it. But it sounds to me like it did get abandoned by whoever came up with the idea, and yeah, the crew are now lost at sea, and they they don't know what to do with it, and they they're trying their best, and um, yeah, like they're wanting a cooperative experience again. The Atlas community, for the most part, is, especially if you've gone, like I said, Discord and Reddit, is super toxic. And this just, this is just a bad idea. <laughs> it's just a bad idea. They need to come up with a genuine way to do this if they really mean that. Final note, as always, it's early access, blah, 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 things change, whatever. You know the score. It's, it's an early access game. Stuff changes. Accept it. But yeah, there we go, guys. Very interesting. We've got a seahorse. We know the crew are lost at sea. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. Um, I would love some clarification on some of the points in here. But, um, yeah, overall, it's nice to know they are going to be doing fortnightly updates, patches, by the looks of things. And every now and then we're going to get some more Q&As. have to say I enjoyed this Q&A. It was good. It was interesting. Um, welcome to... Again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, Conch. Is that right? I think that's right. Again, I'm very sorry. But welcome to the crew. Um, awesome to see the, the dev team, you know, growing and making progress. And again, I would love to know whether you actually play Atlas or not. I know you're going to get asked this. I know it's going to appear in my comments. I know it's going to appear on Discord if it hasn't already. Um, yeah, do you play Atlas? What, what do you play on Atlas? Do you enjoy it? What do you like? What do you not like? 
what are your thoughts on the game? I'm sure a lot of us, including myself, would love to know. I did see that my buddy Shu did leave that comment on the, the post. I think it might even be down here. There you go. <laughs> so I know this is going to crop up very regularly. Leave your thoughts down below. I hope you enjoyed the news and the Q&A. I will be back with some more Atlas gameplay very soon, hopefully. I have been ill the last few days, so I couldn't do a live stream this week for the currently normal uh, weekly stream of modded atlas uh, but i have got some footage of that to edit into the short videos that i started doing so um yeah there will be some more atlas gameplay coming very soon guys and don't forget if you enjoy these videos if they're helpful informative i imagine people like to just have this on in the background while they're sailing around in atlas or doing something else and listen to the patch notes instead of reading them so um i hope it's helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell for weekly videos and live streams. There you go. Stay safe, have fun, and I will see you next time.